Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back, and today I have for you a brand new macro guide. This time around, these macros focus on an audio cue. Audio cues can be extremely helpful, especially when playing competitively. Today's macros consist of abilities that involve timing with another ability, with a sound cue letting you know when you need to follow up, as well as a reset audio cue for actions such as your crowd controls. There are two limitations, the first one being if you use a macro followed by another macro, while the actions still work, the audio cue is overwritten by the second macro. And secondly, actions that turn into another action did not work, as their reset values did not match up. In the end, I did manage to create at least one for every job. Enjoy today's video, thank you all for the continued support, and I shall see you all in the next one. Up first, we have a Riddle of Earth macro for the Monk. For this, you will still need to follow up with manual input. However, this macro is designed to give you a two-second warning before the action runs out taking away the need to keep staring at your timer. Next, the Machinist. Firstly, we have a turret macro, which will land at your target's feet, with a timer letting you know when the ability has reset. And secondly, a very powerful wildfire macro, which will give you an audio cue when you have two seconds remaining, allowing you to combo with powerful abilities, such as drill or your limit break. Next up, the Paladin. We have three macros for three important actions, Shield Mash, Holy Sheltron, and most importantly, Guardian. These simple macros will let you know when the ability has reset, change up the Guardian macro to a focused target, and you will never again need to visually check or target your friend ever again. Next up, the Warrior, with both a Primal Rend and Bloater macro. These will let you know when the action has reset, and thanks to them both sharing a 15 second cooldown, just one of these macros will let you know when both are ready, for you to get in there, stun and snare. Next, the Dark Knight. I only have for you a Blackest Knight reset macro, I did attempt a Salted Earth sound cue macro, however the action changes, messing up the reset timing. Knowing that you have Blackest Knight at the ready, without visually checking is extremely helpful, when diving in and you need to keep your eyes on the enemy. For you gunbreakers, we have a Draw and Junction reset macro. It is not uncommon to shift between both the tank and the DPS stance, and with an audio cue informing you, when a switch is ready, you can keep maximum uptime. For the Dragoon, a elusive jump sound cue did not work as the action becomes Wormwind Thrust. However, you can still benefit from a Horrid Raw macro. This ability allows you to go in full aggressive with your Gear Skull Ghoul, and with the reset being 25 seconds, your elusive jump will also be off cooldown. For us Reaper players, the Arcane Crest is your sign to engage, and thanks to the 20 second audio cue timer, you will now need to never take your eyes off of the battle. For the Ninja, I have a free Mudra, and bunch in sound cue reset macro, a sound cue for the free Mudra comes in useful, when under pressure trying to escape, and knowing when Bunshin is ready allows you to better time your burst rotations. I did not create one for the Sukuchi. As my previous macro video, we already have a teleport to your target macro. For the Samurai, you have two important actions, Chiten and Mekyo Shisui. Mekyo is your own mini purify, and Chiten sets up damage reduction and a potential insta-kill. The Chiten reset macro might be your main choice, as the 25 second cooldown also means that Mekyoi is also ready. Next, we have the Bard, with two reset timer macros for both your Warden's Payon and Crowd Control, two actions that you must keep track of in order to dominate. Onto the Dancers, we have both a Enervant and Curing Wart reset macro. Knowing you have a dash on hand is vital for big plays and escapes, while also knowing when a cure is ready will allow you to aid your dance partner much faster. For you Black Mages, we have the Nightwing Crowd Control, as well as a self-targeting teleport reset macro. Nightwing is amazing for forcing out purifies, and knowing when your cooldown is complete allows you to make the most of a situation. And while getting dove sucks, this second macro allows you to teleport to yourself, granting the instacast for your burst, with a reset timer informing you when the cooldown is complete. Summoners, you can benefit from tracking your Mountain Buster crowd control and your Radiant Aegis shielding. Radiant can be stacked with guard, making you almost unkillable, and the Mountain Buster can come in clutch during retreats. These reset cues allow you to keep focus on what's happening around you, rather than looking to your hotbars. Next up, the Red Mage. Firstly, we have a useful Resolution Reset Macro, and a very powerful Frazzle and Magic Barrier Macro. They both share the same 25 second cooldown. Depending on which stance you are in, White Shift or Black Shift, the macro will use the correct corresponding action, with a audio cue informing you of the reset. Onto healers, we first have the White Mage, with a double reset timer macro for both the Miracle of Nature and Aqua Veil, two actions a White Mage wants to track. You may choose the Miracle of Nature, as the imp ability is incredibly strong. 
and with such a long cooldown, you really need to keep track of this ability. For you Scholars, you have four to select from. We have a self-targeting short spread macro and a bio your target and spread the poison macro. These two share the same cooldown timers of 15 seconds, as well as an expedient and mummification macro. Two other very important abilities. The self-targeting shield spread with a timer reset tends to be my most useful, as there is no messing around when shielding those around me. You Astros can benefit from a self-targeting, double casting aspected benefit with a 15 second cooldown timer, letting you know once this action is once again ready. And last up, we have the Sage, with a Icarus Dash and Cardia Reset Macro. Icarus allows you to make many plays, and Cardia, while it only has a 1 second cooldown, how many of us never think to switch to another player? The sound cue serves as a reminder that the action is ready for use. And for general use, I have a Guardian and Purify Reset Macro, two actions every player needs good usage in. Knowing when Purify is ready is better of the two, as you need this not just defensively, but also to pre-pop for aggressive plays. And those are all the macros I have for you today. Let me know if any of these were useful to you. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.